Hey Haley, did you remember to bring the hammer? No, I thought you got it. Hold on. That's not really Thor's hammer. Uh -oh. True Life youth and families, I hope that this finds you doing well in these times. I miss seeing you. Um, should have been meeting tomorrow night and having dinner and um, sharing together, but I guess we're going to have to do it this way for now. I do encourage you to stay in touch with me. You have my cell, you have my email. Love to hear from you. Um, I want to share with you youth and uh, parents, guardians, just a few thoughts this morning, and um, first comes out of uh, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 12, and it says, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. And this is something that Paul is writing to Timothy, a young protege of his that he left in charge of people much older than him. But God doesn't look at our age. Uh, our physical age. Uh, now, for a Christian that's walked with God for decades, he does tell the young to honor that, that we have a lot to offer you of wisdom. But there's many young people that are far more mature in Christ, far more ready to lead and have wisdom than people with a lot more years on them physically. And people that are young, teens, 20s, who have studied God's Word, taken it seriously, devoured it, um, lived in it, that have a lot to offer. You have a fire, you have a, a passion. You can grab this moment and you have right now, with no bus drive times and these different things, you have an amazing opportunity to rise as a generation, as young warriors for God, uh, families to rise together and strengthen yourself against the attacks of the enemy, uh, to grow strong together in Christ, and to be able to be His light and body and word out into this community that needs it so badly, this nation that needs it so badly. Um, I encourage you to not let your age stop you, to not think, oh, I'm just a kid, I'm just, um, you know, whatever, I'm just stuck at home. Grab this moment. Um, we have a real spiritual enemy, the Bible's clear on that. He's not resting right now, he's not isolated. And you have time, you have a season now that you can be training, that you can be taking advantage of this time. And I really encourage you to use that. I was struck by a thought, um, thinking about David, and when he faced Goliath, uh, he went to the Saul, the king, and told him, you know, I'll take on this, this um, fight with this Philistine, with Goliath. And Saul said, you're but a youth, and he has been a man of war from his youth. In 1 Samuel 17, starting with verse 34, David says back to Saul, your servant, meaning David, used to keep sheep for his father, and when there came a lion or a bear and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. And if he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. Your servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. So David, is he goes and tells this king, and he said, I've taken care of my dad's sheep. And this was a time of isolation. It, earlier in the story, when the prophet Samuel came to David's home to anoint the next king of Israel. All the brothers were there with dad and got to enjoy this moment. David was off alone tending the dad's sheep. And yet it was in that time that he experienced the faithfulness of God. David defended the sheep himself. But listen to what he then says. The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. He did the work, but he gave all credit to God for the deliverance and God for the protection. And this was a quality that drove him to become a hero for the nation of Israel, to be a leader, 
to be brought into his place as king, he learned in isolation a faithfulness and obedience to God and God's faithfulness. And he took that into the battle with the enemy and inspired a nation. You have this moment. You have this time. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, Paul, writing from prison, isolated in a prison cell, said, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's anything or any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I challenge you, youth, parents, to question and to examine what are you doing with this time? What kind of music are you listening to? What are the words? Are they edifying? Do they build up? Do they point you to God? What, what entertainment are you watching? Is it something that you would leave on the TV or the computer screen if Jesus was there with you, sitting with you? Um, what are you doing with your free time? Are you playing violent video games and things that uh, have filled with violence and death that would never honor the God who gave his life, that we might have life? Are you devouring the word? I encourage each of you to pick a gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are all very similar. Mark, the shortest of them, a great one to start with. We're going through it in men's group right now. John, another amazing one. And challenge yourself to read through the whole gospel in the next week. And build that foundation. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And basically, you see who Jesus is. You're getting a glimpse of the heart of our Father God, our Creator. Challenge yourself. Fill yourself with the words. Continue the Ephesians chapter 1, 2, and 3. Read those chapters five, ten times. Each time look for something new it says about who you are in Christ and what, he, what God has done for you. Who you know yourself to be will define every response you have, every choice you make for your time, your priorities, everything. I am putting some links down below here in the description below this video. And I encourage you to go to them. Summer songs, for those of you kind of like hip-hop and rap, I asked someone, they recommended this group, it's 116 Click or Click 116. Uh, there's a couple links there, an amazing song, um, The Man's Anthem, um, for you guys just rising up, being the men God's called us to be. And another link, which is, it sounds like it's the 13 different songs, one about each of Paul's letters in the New Testament. Um, his letters like Ephesians, Galatians, Philippians, and these. And the little bit of the lyrics I looked at, um, amazing. I'd encourage you to find the lyrics online, too. Uh, there's a few other songs. There's a, what looks to be a devotional by Josh McDowell that you could sign up for, a daily devotional. I really encourage you to check it out, and I'd love to hear from some of you who do. I really respect him. He's an amazing man defending our faith and speaking to your generation. Um, let me know how you like it. I've not gone through it, but... Um, sign up for it and let me know how you like it. Again, if you don't have email, I've not heard back from any of you um, since my last video, please consider signing up for a Gmail if your family will let you. Get me your email. That's how I really need to be able to communicate with you guys. Uh, I also put a link down there to a movie called Mountain Top. I'm not sure how it's on YouTube. The uh, person who posted it said it doesn't violate any copyrights. Maybe they have an arrangement. I haven't watched the YouTube version, so I don't know if it's full length. It's an hour and a half. It's a, fa a movie that my family really, really enjoys. It is God-filled. No, it's not the adventures of a Marvel movie, but it is incredible. Um, and I think you as a family would enjoy watching it together. Send me some pictures. What you're doing? Love to hear from you. Shoot me some text. I miss you guys. Let me know if you want to talk. Give me a call. Text me. Shoot me an email. I love you guys. God bless you. I'll stay in touch this way. But uh, again, love to hear from you. Take care. Bye-bye.